I'm gonna check one, two, three, four. One, two, and we're live. Okay. Are we live? Yeah, I hope so. So I have now a very old figure again from Captain America, the Winter Soldier. This is the first outing of, well, the second outing of Bucky Barnes. And this time he's the Winter Soldier. I was really happy that I got this figure. Uh, the seller told me that this was uh, the, the leather suit, this one, it flaked, so he had it repaired. And I'm not sure if I remember who did the repair, but I checked this guy a while ago, but seems like the repair work is very well done. So this is an old school Hot Toys figure. Uh, the cover art is a lot simpler. So I kind of like this kind of, these boxes more than the more modern ones because they're harder to open. I mean, they're prettier, but harder to open. There. We have this inlet, which is the picture of the figure himself. Really cool. This is my favorite look of Bucky Barnes. I don't like the later look. This is for me is the real winter soldier, the way he ought to look. So I'm not expecting much. I don't think there are a lot of trays here or something like that. And this is what it looks like. Very simple. And I was right, only one tray. Just the manual. <coughs> But the important part is looking at the repair work, how it is. Okay, wow. I know I've said it, but I'm gonna say it again. I'm really hyped that I got this figure because this figure is really expensive now and I got him close to retail. There's no way I'd pay for the grail price they are commanding, this figure is commanding for. It's just too expensive for me, but for retail, man, it's amazing. It's really amazing. Let's let's go for a close-up. Check out the repair work, man. You can't even tell. All of this is flake. The pleather in this, they have flake. So an advantage of having an all-black figure is that it's a lot easier to repair. Come on, look at it, man. You can barely tell that. There's repair work done. If you got it like this, you really would not mind. And the best part about this is I got it for retail. Uh, there's some dirt in the head sculpt. I wonder if it's dirt. This one, this dark parts here. Yep, it's dirt, it came off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it came off. Check it out. When was, the, when was the last time you saw the Winter Soldier looking this badass? I mean, after after Civil War. With the, with the face mask, the anti-COVID face mask. <laughs> this was before COVID. <laughs> so check it out. So awesome, man. The metal arm, the silver metal arm. Ah, the Hydra. Winter Soldier. These are for his weapons. Because he has a wide array of weapons. But before that, let's check out the other head sculpt. I really love the figure. Check it out. Yeah, there are parts of the hair where it looks sort of stiff, but I'd rather have this kind of sculpted hair on a figure like this. You know, in some angles, kind of reminds me of Trent Reznor from Nine Inch Nails a long time ago. <laughs> yeah. Loving it, man. The best part is that I got it for very close to retail price, so that's basically the best part of this purchase. Of course, the weapons. 
the modern Bucky, the modern Hot Toys, they have better weapons right now. This one feels, uh, I could say it's almost toy-like. It's plastic, uh, not very, not very detailed paint applications, barely any paint applications. So it is what it is. I can get third-party weapons if I wanted to. This is the sticky bomb. I forgot where he used this in the movie. But yeah, it's really cool. Not as much detail. The detail is very soft on old figures like this. Yeah. This is my only Bucky in my collection. I don't know if I'm gonna get the other ones. Because this is the Winter Soldier for me, and I like him as the Winter Soldier. Yeah. Compared to modern Hot Toys weapons, these are very toy-like. And oh, he has the glasses. Wow. He has the goggles. Here. Yeah. Careful not to break this. Is there some dirt in it? Nah, it's just a camera distortion. Uh, I'll try it on. I mean, where does he, this go? I think it goes with the other figure. I'll mess with it later, so just so I won't break it. Cause this old plastic, this kind of old plastic, you know, you you can't predict what will happen if you mess around with it. If you're not careful, old plastic they they tend to to crumble. They tend to lose their quality as the years go by. And this figures, I don't know how old it is probably more than 10, 10 years old and these are the other weapons yeah this are this ones are better painted with this ones have better dry brushing on them it still still feels plasticky it's not like die cast not like the more modern ones but this set here they're, they look better they have more detail compared to to the ones I just pulled up and I think uh, this is the knife it's combat knife I like this one this one this one's better painted better sculpted it looks a bit more realistic than the than the weapons I just showed so yeah it's a it has a lot of accessories really I mean I just don't go into detail in reviewing the accessories because, you know, it's really hard to make terrible accessories. So it's par for the course for me. And I guess that's it. That's my review. Let's just take another shot with the repair work. Really cool. So thank you guys for checking it out. Oh, wait. I'm just gonna check on the articulation because that the, the scar predator I had had tough articulation okay so this is the downside when you have a repair work done by the way I forgot to mention it stiffens the, the, the whole thing that you sacrifice some articulation so in this part this is the most where I could get his shoulder I couldn't get it straight yeah, this is it. <laughs> because of the repair work, uh, the limited there's this limited articulation. So that's just in the arms, legs. Okay, doesn't the boot doesn't have a cut, so it'd be harder to balance. See, it's just a single thing here. Uh -huh. Everything else, the articulation is decent. It's good. It's not as worn as the predator that i've shown you because that predator is probably an older figure I, i'm not sure the predator back then had quality control issues but hey look at this even with the limited articulation it still looks pretty badass for me so thank you for checking out the review and that's it <laughs>